It's live. Ooh, look at my hair. <laughs> hey, everybody. So I just wanted to check in real fast to tell all my Facebook friends that we think what you laughing for. We got a praise report, y'all, because we can do nothing but thank God today. Today marks two years since my husband had a health scare. We thought it was a stroke. So at the pure, very young age of 30 years old, we thought my husband was having a stroke. We didn't know what to do. <laughs> we didn't know what to do about it. We didn't know. We just, I don't know. I've been thinking about it all day. Just thinking about how my reaction was when he woke me up that morning. Yeah, because it happened overnight. So that was Yeah. Crazy. And you know, as I reflect on, I think I'm going to be doing this every year, but as I reflect on that morning, I always think about the days leading up to that day. And um, he knows ever since then, I have been on him about his health and just paying attention because you never know. You never know. And that's why I put in my post earlier that it's a praise report. And we're praising God and thanking him that he it wasn't a stroke wasn't a stroke that I wasn't paralyzed he wasn't paralyzed that he didn't lose the function of any of his limbs or that his speech or, or your anything. or his speech or anything like right. that hey Shanita hey Shanita <laughs> but um of course he lost like some function in what the right side right side right, right side there. of his face so I mean I could find pictures like but the picture I posted earlier on my page um with him with the eye patch he had to wear that because because he lost the nerves the yeah. his nerves were damaged that so because eye, yeah left his eye wouldn't close his left eye would not close so he had to wear that for a few months yeah and when he went when he go to sleep he had to tape his eye closed well, yeah. and his his face his it was slurred like one just you know how people look when they have a stroke well no i said my left it's your my right real right the right side of his face so it just looked like he just lost all the, the nerve like the all the nerves on this side of his face went out but we just thank god we thank god we thank god we thank god this is a praise report we got to tell everybody we don't talk to everybody on our facebook we're friends with a lot of <laughs> jesus is my boss <laughs> We're friends with a lot of people on Facebook. We don't talk to half of it, but guess what? If you watch this video, you better thank God that you are in great health. Mm -hmm. If you are married, you better thank God for your husband or your wife because you never know. Did I ever think that I would wake up to, to my husband dealing with something like this? No. We were at a time in our marriage where we were just a mess. <laughs> we were a mess. So me thinking about his health and all that stuff, no, we, we were just, we weren't in a good place at the time, but now we can, we can sit here and we can talk about this and laugh about it and even think about how far we have come from that point. And it wasn't even easy after he had that health scare, but <clears throat> all that matters is he's still here. And I, the the post that I shared that I posted last year, um, I said that, you know, I could have been without my husband, whether whether I had lost him, um, lost him like to death. I don't want to say that or lost him to um, like just mental, mental and and being physically um, impaired. impaired, you know, I still could have lost him. So. You know, I just, I, I, I thank God. You know, my children could have been without a father. Um, we would not have Aria. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. So, you know, when I, I reflect on that, because I think about some, you know, a lot of the things that would not have happened if we had lost him. And Aria would not be here. We would not have three children. So we know one reason why God spared him. I guess God said, y'all got to have another baby <laughs> so 
but we just it's a praise report like i said i could not let this day go by without getting on this live and sharing this i love my husband y'all i love him so much and he knows Aww. that his children love him and you know every day every day this year when facebook reminds me I'm going to always think about this day and think about the fact that we could be without him. So I want you to love on your husband, love on your wife, love on your children, love on whoever, everybody. No matter what you're going through, y'all could be mad at, you, at each other. Maybe you need to go forgive somebody or something because, you know, being in certain situations and circumstances in life, it can cause you to forget that you could lose that person. Right. Right. And then when that person is gone and y'all, you know, that person left you and y'all were in a bad place. Guess what? You got to live with that for the probably the rest of your life. Yep. Probably the rest of your life, even if you try to forgive or you pray about it, you do so much about it. It's still going to be the fact that you could not reconcile. Mm -hmm. You couldn't. You couldn't solve the problem with that person and say, you know what? That's so little. You know, what we arguing for? You know, so, now, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I guess I, I, I thank God, too. Because, and it's crazy because I didn't even realize it until she said it to me this morning. Because I haven't even been on social media all day. And she was like, you know what? Today is the day, you know, two years since... You know the Bell's palsy and uh, oh yeah, he had Bell's yeah. palsy, not a stroke. I forgot yeah, to say that it, was Bell's it wasn't palsy. a stroke, but it was Bell's palsy. So if you don't know what that is, you can Google it. But I didn't know what it is until I didn't know what it was until this happened. happened and so all of a sudden, everybody comes out of the woodwork. They say they had an aunt or a coworker or a grandmother or somebody in their family or friend has had Bell's palsy, or they themselves has had it. So. Uh, it's crazy how, you know, that stuff works. But, yeah, I truly thank God. I thank God for my wife. I bless God for my wife because she has stuck by my side. I love you, baby. Um, I thank God for my children. And, again, like she said, we wouldn't have Arya right now at the moment. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's, she's yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two was good, but, you know, it was meant for us to have that third. Mm -hmm. But um, this is truly a praise report because I could have died in my sleep and you know it was crazy because my wife had always said at the time we had been together 14 years it's almost 16 now that she had never remembers me ever crying except for at my grandmother's funeral <laughs> and uh so but that morning I did because I felt I really felt near death I felt like I could have died in my sleep and it was crazy because as the crying and the tears was going away and then my daughter Cadence, our second, uh, came in the room and asked me like, what was I crying for? What was wrong? And I just broke down even more and I had to hug her so tight because it was like, man, I really could have left them, you know, and they don't even know what was really going on. But, you know, like she said, just, you know, love people in spite of whatever wrong they've done to you because you never know when that person may leave or when you may leave and you never got that chance to say that you were sorry or that you forgive them or to ask someone for forgiveness to know that you know you've made peace with what the situation may have been so it's truly a blessing i i i I'm truly bless god for his love you know truly that's what it is you know he's loving me more than ever and i can feel it you know he really truly is my boss mm -hmm. oh this is my work hat if i ever have this hat on see this paint all over me i'm i'm usually doing some work Mm -hmm. uh, because I am self-employed other than the fact that Christ is my boss but uh, yeah man it's it's a blessing it is truly truly a blessing to still be here two years after the fact stronger marriage stronger mind stay stronger spiritually mentally physically <laughs> emotionally TV, I can hear her saying that <laughs> that's right brother -law. that's right go ahead yeah. brother <laughs> yeah, hey. I mean it was bad so if you did see any of your pictures for those that can see right now, most people that I talk to and say, you know, I had this issue. A lot of people say they couldn't even tell when they talked to me, um, but it still droops a little bit. This eye is still a little bit slower, but at the end of the day, I thank <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, it is funny, but, you know, and it's something that we can look back on and laugh about, Tina, you know, and I, I, I really, mm. truly thank God for it. So 
Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Thank you, Lord, for being faithful and just in your promises, you know, and everybody just love, 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 you know, it is, it imperative. is the key. It is imperative. It is the key to just continue to love all, you know, spread the love. You never know. Yes, you must love no matter what. And, we were a mess. And yeah. At that time. Boy, we were a mess. Our marriage was a <laughs> mess and just to look back on it and think about how far we've come thank you tina you matter too <laughs> let me show you oh lord oh yeah 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 i always you know carry these cars, the cars in his, i'm in his always wall. passing these cars out you matter too can y'all see that i don't know that's for everybody gonna... you matter you matter yes you do it so might be red back i'm all here sure. to let y'all know that my husband matters and that's why God still has him here today. You know, sometimes things happen and we don't understand why. And at that time, I think it was like, oh, Lord, we got enough stuff going on. And now this, why, Lord? But, you know, over time, it's like God works everything. <laughs> God works everything together for our good. He works everything together for our good. So there's always a lesson in everything that we go through in life. Yeah. So it's just finding that good in the situation. Mm -hmm. So that's our praise report. Praise report. That's our praise report because God is good. All God is always good. Always. He's I great. still have my husband because the condition couldn't have, it could have got worse. Yeah. It could have got worse because even after it happened, you like, I think mentally and just emotionally, yeah, it, it put us, down. yeah, it put us in a place, yeah, it put <laughs> by Tina, in a place. it put us in a place <laughs> where, um, <clears throat> you know, we were already down. So it kind of just put both of us in a place where I had never seen him before. I had never seen him in a place um like that like mentally and emotionally and then you know i was in a place so there's nothing but growth that came out of that situation so it was growth through the grace yes that's what it was growth through the grace mm -hmm. and the mercy that's what it was we finna start we need to turn on some <laughs> some music in here because boy <laughs> you know i can't god is good god is good that's all i can say i can't thank i can't thank him enough for just his grace and his mercy and my husband is still here he gets on my nerves y'all but i couldn't imagine life without him simple as that you finna cry no. he finna cry okay Good Shanita. All right, so that's our praise report for yeah, today. What it is, dance. Yeah, the, the dancing. Um, that's our praise report. So once again, just love on whoever. Love, 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 because you never know. Because you lose a person too when they are physically impaired. I'm, I'm, I've never experienced that. I mean, just that alone, what he experienced was enough because he was physically impaired for a amount of time so just that alone i cannot imagine going through the situation where people have strokes and lose the use of their limbs i can imagine somebody becoming paralyzed like losing their legs and arms and stuff like that i, I cannot imagine but like i said god works everything together for our good so just love on God and love your husband, love your wife, love your children, love everybody around you regardless of the situation. And just thank God. You got to learn to praise instead of complain. Right. Praise instead of complain. So that's it. That's it. Because I keep going. I keep All going. Day. I keep going. Thank you for the reminder. Yes. I'll see it later when I get on Facebook. I was going to do this. I, still ain't been on I was going to do this earlier, like, you know, earlier, but I was like, nah, I'll wait. Until I come pick you up. So I'm like, I couldn't let this day go by without us having a praise report. Praise report. I love my husband, y'all. I'm glad he's still here. <laughs> I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine. Okay, bye. Share this if you feel like somebody needs some encouragement or maybe some 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 
encouragement for their marriage you know a married couple that might be going through something right now we have a story to tell and just this one story right we got a lot right. but just this one right here it's encouragement to just love 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 no matter what i cannot stress that enough as believers we are to love that is one of the first things we do we love no matter yep. what so like she said reach out if you need encouragement or some guidance in your marriage. Also, I have to shout this out. I have to shout out because it has blessed our marriage. You know what I'm going to say? The marriage remix. Yes, the marriage <laughs> remix. I haven't shouted them out in a while. I'm sorry, Pastor Sean, Pastor LaShonda. I'm sorry, y'all. But if y'all see this, shout out to them. Thursday nights, 10 o'clock, y'all log on to Facebook. They're going live. The marriage remix. Remix. What you finna say? I don't know. I'm <laughs> the marriage. My words. Re well, they probably not doing that because. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, but right. don't say. Well, no, no, but no, I mean, yeah, yeah still go so. check out the marriage right. remix page because they have blessed us a lot. We love yes. them so much. Go all the way back to the go very back first to the very one first one watch video, the marriage remix. I try to tag it on here or something, but that is another resource that you need to go to for encouragement and guidance. They talk about every. Oh, Everything. They, go all in. they don't hold nothing. So, if y'all want some real married advice, marriage advice, the real deal stuff, not no sugar coat, and I mean as transparent as it could possibly be, go to the marriage remix page, Pastor Lashonda and Pastor Sean. We Jones. love y'all, Jones. Yes, we love y'all. We miss y'all. We miss y'all. They have helped us out tremendously, even though we don't see them as often as we would like. And I know what she's gonna say. Y'all could come by my house. Y'all know what you know, but it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> see, you could no. though. <laughs> all right, that's it. Bye. We love y'all. Share this video for encouragement. I just want to do this praise report. I thank God for my marriage. I really do. I thank God for it. How do you stop this thing?